Let's begin our vendor section. Let's begin by discussing how we set up and add vendors to our QuickBooks software. Let's come in here and open up the Vendor Navigator. Down here we can open up the Vendor List. Here's where we'll add vendors. Rather than adding a vendor, let's look at a vendor that's already set up. Let's look at Peyton Hardware Supplies. Double click and that opens the vendor record. Here is the vendor name as they will be listed in the vendor list. The address info is self-explanatory. Contact address information. There's a field down here worth mentioning. If you want something else to print on a check besides what's shown in the vendor name field here, then use this field here, print on check as. The additional info tab has a field for account. Oftentimes QuickBooks users think this is the expense account in your chart of accounts that will be charged when you do business with this vendor. That's not correct. This is the account number that this vendor has assigned to us. So we can put this account number on checks in the memo field when we process a check to this vendor. Here we can categorize this vendor. Rock Castle Construction categorizes its vendors based on these categories here. We can set up our terms, our credit limit, tax ID. Over here we can define any custom fields we want to use. Let's click here and you can see under the vendors column we've only selected the discount available choice. So we can add other custom fields here and then check off the appropriate column. Let's close out of here and once again just to review to add a vendor simply come here click on new and you'll be able to fill in this vendor record.